Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 2.11 multiply three digit and four digit numbers with regrouping. So our essential question is how can you use regrouping to multiply? Okay, so let's unlock the problem. Alice Spring in Missouri produces an average of 567 million gallons of water per week. How many millions of gallons of water do the springs produce in three weeks? So in one week it's 567 million gallons. So in three weeks we will multiply 3 by 567. So first let's estimate. So three times 567 will round it to the nearest 100. So to the right of the 5 we have 6 which is strong digit so the 500 will be 600. So 3 times 600 we can make it like this 3 times 6 which is 18 and we write the two zeros. So it's 1800. Okay now let's multiply 3 by 567. Let's do it here. So 567, we write it up, multiply 3, we write it down. So as we did in multiplying by two digits, we will multiply here the same. We'll start by ones, then tens, then hundreds. So first we'll multiply by ones. So 3 times 7 is 21. So we write down the 1 and carry up 2. Okay. We said we will keep the 2 until we multiply. So now we'll multiply 3 by 6. So 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2. 18 plus 2 equals 20. So we don't write the whole 20. We will write 0 down and 2 up. So now 3 times 5 is 15 plus the 2 is 17. So it's 1,701. Okay, so you multiply the 3 by the 7, then by the 6, then by the 5. And if you regrouped or you have something in the carry up, you leave it until you multiply, then add it. So here it's 1,701 million gallons. Okay. Another example here, use an estimate or an exact answer. The table shows the prices of three vacation packages. Jack, his parents, and his sister want to choose a package. Okay, here at letter A, about how much would package C cost Jack's family? So about means we are estimating okay so first of all Jack's family is Jack his parents and his sisters so Jack and his sister are two children and his parents are two adults okay so here if we look we have a price for the adult and a price for the child okay so for package C we look at the package you see here it's six hundred ninety nine dollars for the adult and four hundred eighty four dollars for the child okay so step number one is to make the cost for two adults for the parents so for the adults it's six hundred ninety nine dollars so so Jack's parents are two so it's two multiply six hundred ninety nine dollars okay so let's estimate it to round it to the nearest hundred so the nine is strong so the six hundred will be seven hundred now let's multiply it two multiply seven is fourteen so we write fourteen and we write the two zeros so it's one thousand four hundred dollars for Jack's parents here for the two children Let's estimate it. So the children, each child is $484. So $484, if we round it to the nearest 100, the 8 is strong, so the 400 will be 500. So 2 times 500, we make it also 2 times 5, 
which is 10 and we write the two zeros so it's 1000 so $1,000 for the children so we have the total let's add to get the total estimate here so 1400 plus 1000 so 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 4 plus 0 4 and 1 plus 1 is 2 so it's about $2,400 so package C would cost Jack's family about $2,400 okay letter B Jack's family wants to compare the total cost of package A and C which plan costs more how much more does it cost okay so we need to know the total cost for package A and the total cost for package C okay so let's look at package A first so for package A the adult is 1299 Jack's family has two adults the parents so 1299 multiplied two and two children each is 619 so 619 multiplied two then we add to get the total cost for package A so we have here for the adults for the parents 1299 multiplied two and for the children 619 multiplied two so let's multiply here 2 multiply 9 is 18 so we write 8 down and carry up 1 now 2 multiply 9 is 18 again plus the 1 is 19 so we write the 9 and we carry up 1 again now 2 multiply 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 then 2 times 1 is 2 so two thousand five hundred ninety five dollars and here for the children 619 multiply 2 2 multiply 9 is 18 so we write down 8 and carry up 1 2 multiply 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 here 2 multiply 6 is 12 so 1238 dollars okay so the total cost we will add 2598 dollars plus 1238 dollars so if we add 8 plus 8 is 16 we write 6 down and 1 up 1 plus 9 is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 so we write 3 down and 1 up now 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 2 is 8 then 2 plus 1 is 3 so it's a three thousand eight hundred thirty six dollars for package a for package c let's look at package c it's 699 for the adult so we'll multiply 699 by 2 and 484 for the child so we'll multiply it also by 2 so here let's multiply 699 by 2 for the adults so 2 multiply 9 is 18 so write down 8 and carry a 1 2 multiply 9 is 18 again plus 1 is 19 so 9 down 1 up 2 multiply 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13 so 1398 now for the children let's multiply 484 times 2 so 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 8 16 so write 6 down and 1 up now 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 so 968 dollars so if we add we have 1398 dollars plus 968 dollars so let's add 8 plus 8 is 16 so write 6 down 1 up now 1 plus 9 is 10 10 plus 6 16 so 6 down 1 up now 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 9 is 13 so we write 3 down and 1 up 
Now 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2366. Okay, so to compare the total cost here and the total cost here, let's subtract. So comparing means subtract. So we'll subtract the two numbers. So 6 minus 6 is 0. And 3 minus 6, it can't be. So we'll borrow 1 from the 8. The 8 will be 7. And the 3 will be 13. Now 13 minus 6 is 7. And 7 minus 3 is 4. Here, 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's 1,470. So package A would cost blank more than package what? So package A would cost 1,470 more than package C. Okay. So now for share and show, tell what is happening in step 1. So in step one, what is happening here? Okay, so we can say here he multiplied four by six. Here multiply four times six, which is equals 24 ones. We are here at once. So then we have a carry up, we regrouped here. So we regroup 24 ones as we keep here four at once. We give it four ones and two, we carry it up at the tens and two tens. Okay, here estimate, then find the product. Let's estimate first. This is 603. If we round it to the nearest 100, to the right of the 6, we have 0, which is weak. So we'll keep it 600 multiply 4, which is 6 times 4 is 24, and we write the two zeros. So 2,400. Now let's multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. So write down 2, carry up 1. Now 4 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay, so guys, don't do this mistake. Don't make 1 plus 0. If you said 1 plus 0 is 1, multiply 4 is 4, you will get a wrong answer. So now 4 multiply 6. So 4 multiply 6 is 24. So our answer is 2412. Here, let's estimate. So 1,935, let's round it to the nearest 1,000. To the right of the one we have 9, which is strong digit. So the 1,000 will be 2,000. Okay, so 2,000 multiply 7. 2 times 7 is 14. And we write the 3 zeros, so it's 14,000. Now let's multiply. 7 multiply 5 is 35, so we write down 5 and carry up 3. Now 7 multiply 3 is 21, 21 plus 3 is 24, so we write 4 down and carry up 2. 7 times 9 is 63, so 63 plus 2 is 65, so we write down 5 and carry up 6. Now 7 times 1, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13, so it's 13,545. Here let's estimate $8,326 to the nearest thousand. To the right of the 8 we have 3, which is weak digit, so we'll keep it $8,000, multiply 5. So here 8 times 5 is 40, and we write the three zeros, so it's 40,000. Now let's multiply. So 5 times 6 is 30, so we write down 0 and carry up 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13, so we write 3 down and 1 up. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16, so write down 6 and carry up 1. 
Now 5 multiply 8 is 40. 40 plus 1 is 41. So it's a 41,630. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a nice day and goodbye.